Hey guys, Jeff Allen, welcome back to Off the Gridiron. In today's episode, I'm going to take these Fragmites from my ditch and repurpose them into a nice thatched tiki roof for my 10x10 canopy, which has seen better days. Stay tuned, and I'll show you all how I did it. Welcome to my ditch. Well, these are Fragmites. They're not a native species, but have certainly colonized and been here for years. They're aggressively growing and they shoot ribosomes under the ground and start the new, new growth very quickly. They grow quite fast and quite tall as you can see. So what we've done, we've taken harvested large swaths of these dead standing Phragmites stalks. They're very, very bamboo-like in texture. You can see that. Very, very strong and very, very woody. And you can see they, they carry some great strength, even at length. So other than the tops that we have no use for, we harvest the bottom and lash them all together. And you'll see some slow motion shots of how we did that in our video. Walking Phragmites. This is why it's so hard for other animals to get through this environment. And these sticks make for a very woody base layer. Bottom. They create almost like a wall-like barrier for, for most wildlife. So they're very hard to... I need some heavy wood snips to make short work of these, these branches.
So with the longer pieces, I'm using four, four wraps, roughly a foot and a half apart. Longer pieces would be six to eight feet. Let's do one overhand knot. Make sure they're all flat at one end. Now you're ready for your next bundle here.
Here's my wife Jody organizing some of the stocks, uh, finding matching sizes to start the lashing. The deck becomes quite the work zone with different fragments and, and off cuts of the different lengths of rag mighty stocks. Here is a section of mat or thatching that's been woven together. And again with the frag mighties we want to size them so we have them laying in a chair so we can find the sizes we need. The waxed nylon string that we're using to bond these. And again the shot of the ditches where we made many trips back and forth into the ditch to, to find the different stocks that we needed. Shot of the new growth coming in quite quickly. And here's a shot of some random pieces from a trimmed off section of the thatching. How you start is a quick overhand loop over a broomstick. Perhaps a clove hitch would work. And pulled taut. And you would have four of these up a broomstick at matching intervals. And then split the string, uh, almost like a clove hitch again, split the string in two directions. And with one string under the bundle of five or six stalks, you would then lay the stalks on and tie them together. And this could be a quick overhand knot or uh, a series of two hitches. Once tied, you pull it tight and this will hold that bundle secure until you're ready to add the, the next bundle. So again, you have a string on the bottom and a string on the top and you drop another matching bundle in size and length uh, next to the first one and repeat the process. Here's a shot of the canopy going up, different sections that have been lashed to the existing frame. Halfway up there's a bamboo uh, section that supports the under side of the canopy. Again, many odds and ends ready for the fire plate when we're done. Here's some thatched sections ready to be unrolled and attached to the frame. And there's a close-up of the edges which are trimmed up and um, you can see the bamboo that's halfway up that acts as that securing, uh, securing the midsection just to support the weight of these thatched sections. And the shot of the ditch, back to the waterfall. I was listening to my video when I was making my Ragmites shelter, and I think I made the mistake of saying that the uh, the, uh, the stalks are the only good part. But we're going to test to see if the dry tops of the Ragmites make good tinder. Just going to use a ferrule rod. And we're going to start with just the magnesium striker. Looks like it works to me.